incoming transmission. Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough. Where we're gonna start doing the extra side quest we just got, starting with Aya. And as we watch the Tempest land on Aya, let's see what do we have here. I'd be surprised if I'm gonna have another side quest from that guy with supplies for. Nope, we don't. But I guess. It was one way to make you go back to Aya when you had all the outposts opened because you would have gotten all the side quests for the supplies and just do them in one go. But we kind of did them in a different way. First things, let me just select this and you know what, we'll do something like this. I'll fast travel to the resistance headquarters, then fast travel to the market and get the goods for the movie night and talk with the other two guys. Unless after I talk with these guys, I have the objectives back here. If I do, then I can just fast travel. It doesn't matter. Because it kind of feels like... Huh. Might be set up to be a straight line of some kind. Okay, Warhan. The Moshe said we should speak. You remember the Ket's arrival? One of them came to our city on a Val to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. Mm, so it was a trick. The cat lured your people into a false friendship. It worked. A month later, our council disappeared. Our city was thrown into chaos. And when the cat came again, it was to conquer us at our weakest. They're cunning. They know what you desire and they offer it. Be careful. Don't worry, we will. Okay, let's first travel to the marketplace. And you are there. And general goods. Pathfinder. Do you by any chance have any ship models? Is this the... Why do we have the plant as well? So we have with components. You know what, I'm gonna get the plant as well. Special item. It's given to Hungarian children as a snack. Might as well get it now and actually get a salvage. Thank you. Uh, where were you? You were up there. Danesk. I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to Volt when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat. We were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. Mm, so they took advantage of the chaos. The enemy uses confusion to take advantage of the vulnerable. Many shuttles obeyed that false order. Those people were never seen again. Okay. And one more. Anoret. What can you tell me? The Moshe said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. 
day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the cat sent back was his badge and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. So the strategy was what for that one? Why kill an ambassador and risk retaliation? They told us it was retaliation for Havaral's attack on their envoy. Havaral received the same story, but in that one, we were the aggressors. We were so busy blaming each other. We were divided when the Ket launched their assault. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. Don't worry. We will be. Is that it by any chance? Just need to get this back to the Tempest. Yep. See, that was it here. Right, that means back to the Tempest. And I'll just walk. Because we're close by. No need to fast travel. Hey, take me back. And we'll just give uh, Joel the David components. And I have a feeling he might have asked for snacks as well, maybe in the future, after we did this. Otherwise, I'm not sure why those snacks Commander, were... Lexi was looking for you. Oh, really? You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Oh, hello. We have more. I was wondering about Kadara. So, Kadara, the rider from Vecha. Rider. Don't worry, Sid didn't do something reckless. This time, as far as I know... No, don't worry, Sid didn't do any, any, something reckless. This time, as far as I know. I've just found something cool on Kadara. Wanna meet me there? I'll send an F-point as an attachment. V. Sure. I guess this is like closing moments. Sulfur Springs. Lexi, you down here? Didn't even check. Gil, Joel is up there. Yep, we have Lexi over there. Do all of you have something new to say by any chance? Just gonna check with Cora. Hi there. No? I'll so don't think so. We could check really quick. Well, this was the mess hall. Lexi. We need to talk about Sam. Doctor Taparo does not approve of how we escaped to the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. Oh. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart. No, I do not approve. Well, I think it might have been the only way. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Well, he was designed to help me. Hurting me goes against Sam's design. Because AI have never acted against their designs before. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. Okay, noted. And as an observation, we'll try not to make that our only way. You know, to escape things. Your concern is noted, Doctor. Of course it has. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Okay, so she's not happy. Anything else you want to talk about, Lexi? Ryder? Well, seems I'll let not... you get back to it. 
I'll be here if you need me. Right. Who else was down here? Joel. Ah, uh, yes. I need to give you the things. Ah, you acquired the components? Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. Okay. I'm interested. Anything else? Need something? I can stop what I'm doing. No. Stay strong. Very good. Vetra was not down here. Let's just call the lift. I think we might as well check with everybody really quick. If they don't uh, have anything new to say, I can just skip through. And my ankles can hey, stop popping. What's the story? No Good story yet. You, Gil. Anytime. I mean, you heard that I Sam killed me. Other than that, nothing new. Uh, guys, why are you stacked up like this? Feels like you're facing into each other. Liam? Anything else for movie night? Yes. No. We'll Seems talk not. later. I know it. Jack? I selected Vecha. What can I do for you, Pathfinder? Nothing? I guess I'll see you on Kadar. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Now, if I can only select Drac. See if he has something new. Hey. You know what? I'm gonna select dating Drac. I don't think. So, about that bar fight on Kadara. Was that like... a date? Nah, there'd be less of an audience. And more property damage. Okay, I'll we talk can to you talk later. More later. Sure. Yeah, they're kind of their pathfinding is a bit bugged or they overlapped. That's why. Got it. Anything else I should know about Sam? Any more emails? Ah, I selected BB. Looking good, Pathfinder. What can I do for you? Thanks for chat. Nothing you yet. Know it. I overlapped through Sylvie's lines. Sorry. Feeling all right. You were clinically dead for a few seconds. I didn't even know a Sam could do that. Well, seems our Sam can. Our Sam's special. Ah, your father's modifications worked out well, didn't they? Anyway, thank you, Sam, for saving Ryder's life. You're welcome, Dr. Anwar. I guess I'll catch you later. I should get back to things. Sounds good. I think... Yeah, they'll have something more to say regarding the last mission. Maybe they what overlap. can I do for you? Oh, nothing, Kalo. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. So maybe next time we land in another place and come back up, we get notification that somebody wants to talk with us. Who knows? Anyway, we're done with Aya for now. Let's... I'm gonna do Kadara actually. Mostly because I have to land, then I have to take the elevator to the slums and all that. Just gonna be done with it quicker. And I have to remember that I have to take Vetra for this. And let me skip. Thank you. Now orbiting Kadara. And let's land. Who would be left? I think. 
think BB has one more thing left from her, I guess. Because this quest seems like the ones we had for from Liam, you know. Something similar like bonding. So I think you might have from PB at some point. Or maybe from PB was the one that she says she's feeling like family and all that. Who knows? Anyway, I have Vetra and PB with me. Where do I have to fast travel? Over here. Let's just do that. Get into our Nomad. Which is not called out yet. Come on. You have to put a button on that side. Don't run away from me, Nomad. Come on. So, me and the oddball Solarian, whose name I can't remember, we stowed away on a Batarian freighter. Ended up skinny dipping in this glass bottom pool, suspended over... Hey, what's wrong? You bored? No, uh, not bored. I'm... Alright, never mind. Doesn't matter. PB, it's just... Just a ridiculous night of stupid, pointless crap. Here we are. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. What do you have in mind, Vetra? You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Less talk, more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. Sure. And no jump jets. No one likes a cheat. That doesn't seem fair, then. This isn't fair. You're taller. You have reach. Staying within your limits is no fun, Ryder. You know I'm gonna use the jump jet, right? I mean... Yep. Here we go. More fun like this way. Having fun? See? Not fair. <laughs> wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. Yeah, it was. I'm glad you came aboard too. It wouldn't have been the same without you. That was nice and sweet. I have anything else here? Oh, yes, completed missions because I haven't selected. Where was it? Somewhere down here. Way, 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 way. Way, 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 way down here. Come on. Where is it? It is. Ah, was this one? Really? Okay, what should be next? Let's select, no, Joe, let's go to Havar next. I'm gonna leave the crash ship for last. But yeah, this seems like a end, end of the road conversations type of thing how we had in Mass Effect 2 and 3 and all that.
and probably we're just gonna get one more conversation unique conversations after we find Meridian right anything else Hello. emails about Sam the rider from Lexi rider after our last discussion Sam and I thought it best if we both took a crash course in AI history to gain a better understanding of each other's perspectives. It's been immensely helpful in finding common ground, but also for highlighting the differences between Sam and the Geth. The Geth didn't need a coherence to survive, but Sam cannot carry out his primary functions without a pathfinder. I still don't like that Sam has the ability to stop your heart, but I no longer have nightmares about him getting trigger happy with your life, Lexi. Well, hopefully he doesn't get tired of living and just pulls the trigger, so to speak. Now orbiting Kadara. Yep, and now leaving Kadara. And Haval. It's time to meet Joel's family. Let's hope he's not that awkward. <sighs> I have emotions, to be honest. But... To be on the Entering safe side, LZ in sight. we're gonna bring PB with us. And let's hope Bibi doesn't get jealous or anything. Yeah, we're back on Haval. Where is it? Nah, no, it's just over there. I'm not gonna fast travel, we were in walking range. I mean, by the time the game loads, we're already here. Is it up here? No, up there. Got it. Oh, actually, we're taking the shuttle. Got it. I was kind of curious if it it were, you know, Jal. Jal. <laughs> at the station over there. Wait, is that bad news? No, the Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadara. Now, oh, let's hug her. Nice to meet you. I know Angara liked the hugging. Jal's told me how much he admires you. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <laughs> Mother. <coughs> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And every child is her favorite. Of course. Everyone! This is Sam. Hi. Look who the car can drag in. Welcome back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Guana, our cousin, Eta, and brother, Finn. Then, Bavezil, Roru. So wonderful to Ejal, have you back. A human. Jal, you bring in someone special to meet us. Wow, cozy. We like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My tiny sanctuary. Home is home. We have a saying that I like. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> I like that. 
Oh, no. Who put this here? Schematics? Uh... When I was seven, my aunt stole a ket weapon for me. So I took it apart to learn. And that is, was a Karkin. Pet Karkin. <laughs> All fit. He died. So I also took him apart. To learn? Why not? Okay. I never show people these things, but I feel like we're family. I'm honored. It's been good getting to know you. Hey, there's one more thing you might like. Sit there. Been interesting so far. Whoa. Nice. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just one more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Me too, doll. Me too. That was really, really cool. I like that. And yes, I guess scene would have played differently if we were romancing Joel. <clears throat> I guess that finishes him. Which leaves Eos again. And then Aladdin. And let's see if possibly we have more emails or anybody else wants to talk with us. On the Tempest, that is. Leaving Avaral. Reg is yours, Pathfinder. Let's try not to scare the dragons that are here. Okay. Hello. Hello, Suvi. Actually, do I have an email? Communication from Joel. The writer from Joel. Writer, thank you for visiting my family with me. For someone with such a small family, it must have been overwhelming. But you didn't show it at all. The kind of questions that I've had to try to answer. What do humans eat? Is that hair soft? What is their home world like? Made me very glad for our two embassies. Stay clear, Joel. I don't know. Kind of doubt it. Want to say maybe home day, someday we might find a tech that allows us to travel really, really fast. And maybe Joel can see Earth. If it's still there, that is. Right. Anyhow, let's go to Yos. Where we laid our first foundation for this place. Pythias system, home of Eos and Prodromos. Yes, it is. Landing zone. And for this one, we're gonna have Cora with us because we need to meet up with her as well. I hate this small loading screen that the game does. 
just ready to go. The game just does a little, one quick little loading screen. Okay, Gale, Jail. I'm good, you're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kickstarting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna try and get you to do it. Well, it's her job, so yeah. That is what she's here to do. A woman takes her job seriously. Hey, if you're cool with it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. I think we know the uh, question, but ask away anyway. Sure, go ahead. What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. He can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. And what's your secret? It's all Gio, no secret. I have nothing to do with it. It's all him. I call bullshit on that. It's definitely your influence. Something. Maybe all these years you thought you knew me, you were sadly mistaken. You wish. Okay. You're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. Okay, I was expecting actually the other question. What? Nope. Right. Uh, yes, I did take the from the port points. To have more mining zones opened up so we have the level three ones opened i thought we only had like level one and two definitely we have level three as well which means i'm not done mining on the planets that i thought i was but i'm not gonna bother i, mean, I have plenty of resources to make anything i want Right, Cora. What's your plan over here? I think that's cat tech. Stay alert. Wait. Uh ooh, oops, it's down here. So Cora, I know, alright. I shouldn't have put my faith in Sarissa. I should have remembered, she's just as valuable as me, but I didn't. Happy now? I'll be happier when you've shot something. You and me both. <laughs> right, let's actually get back to the Nomad. So I park it down here, much here. more closer. Ready to see what I've got? Yep, sure. So where's your mystery project? Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. But uh, wouldn't that take a lot of years? Not to be a killjoy, but you know nothing will grow here for ages. That's actually the idea. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. So, what are we planting then? What seeds do you have? 
desert flowers and grasses from across the Milky Way, colors we don't even have names for. When they prepared the ground, roses someday. Shiny. Ready? One, two. Okay. Maybe it will take less time than that. Who knows? Just take care of those guys and that's it. Perfect. And I think this is everyone. We just need to talk with Kerry, producer. And that's about it. Right. Back to the Tempest. Check out to see if anybody has any emails or wants to talk with us. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Anyone? All systems green. Yep, we have from Cora. Garden, the rider from Cora. Thanks again for coming with me. If you want to know, the plants seed we seeded are Tyrol Azana, handful of water, a plant from Ranok, common Israel, a tasty and blossom that smells like honey, and lace in lilac, a flower they found on Eden Prime, and a few others. Cora. Well, let's hope they catch root then, right? And again, apparently I wasn't finished with EOS. We still had something to go back to. Anywho, let's go back to Paladin. Thank you, Suvi. We have the husk and let's land. Come on, Kello. Punch it. There we go. Let's see how far away we need to go. I just saw my nomad fall down. I thought he glitched through the ground, but apparently he didn't. Uh, I think this fast travel here would be a bit more faster. There's me nomad over here. And let's go. Yep. Things are looking up, huh? With what? With the fight with the cat. We saved the Solarian Ark, gave the Archon a black eye, figuratively speaking at least. We've got a smoke in the distance. Probably the crash ship we're looking for. Yeah, sorry to cut your conversation short, guys. Other cat. Come on, kid, let's get in there. Yeah, don't mind if we do. It's gone. Ow. That's gotta hurt you. Really, really bad. There we 
go and who's left? Let's call the singularity back. And we have one more left. Woo! So what happened here? You're still alive? What? And there we go. That, as they say, is that. Good one, peeps. Good one. So what am I looking for? Oh, data pad. What's this? It appears to be a cat data log pathfinder. It may contain saved data of some variety. Can we access this data, Sam? The device is locked. Hack it then? Anything you can do to bypass the lock? This is beyond my current capabilities. We have never encountered a cat device with security like this before. I suggest we bring it back to the Tempest for further analysis. I'm sure Sylvie could help with it. But wait, is that a good idea? To bring it to the Tempest? Guys, yes, no. Hey, thank you for your input. Yes, we're gonna go back to the Tempest. I was expecting a bit more longer to be here on Aladdin. If I knew, I would have started with this. Man. Right, any emails? Welcome back. Nope. Hey, right. Sylvie? It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. The cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. Yeah, but we still know so little about them. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed cat ship, it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. Does that mean I have to capture a specific cat? So you're saying I have to track down some cat? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those cat genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Sure. I mean, well now. But yeah, I should have started with this one. <laughs> Lexi? Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but it, but it's not. It's... it's... Uh... it just locked onto a transmission. Uh... That could be dangerous. What kind of transmission? Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is... audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. So, enemy of my enemy? Is this what are we thinking here? Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean try to make some kind of deal don't know yet what else is in the transmission 
It's the same stuff. It repeats. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. Okay. Oh, really? Eos? Are you kidding me, game? Like, seriously. I feel like this game is trolling me right now, to Sir, be honest. That woman on the Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. Nice one, Kello. Nice one. Anywho, guess that's the downside of playing it, playing the game blind or mostly blind. You don't know what to expect, but for future playthroughs, you know how to organize better. For now, I'm just gonna travel to EOS in the system and I'm gonna leave it there. And the next episode, we're gonna. Home of Eos Start Protocols. when we're already landed on Eos and we're gonna check out the signal and see who is who transmitted it and then afterwards maybe we'll manage to go back to the Nexus and do the main quest and even see with Carrie's producer and see where that guy sends us maybe Vault hopefully not EOS again because I will get really really angry for you. Anywho, in the meantime, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys, and I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget to take care. <laughs>